had to throw it back a little bit today on the ride to the gym. Hello, welcome to the video. I know it's been a while, so if you've been following the channel for the past couple videos, you guys have noticed that I was doing like that series of like all the Granite Games workouts and since I've been on YouTube, I've always like struggled when I do a series, once it's ended, I never know what to do for the next video and that was like where I was sitting and I had no idea what to do. So today I was like, I'm just gonna pick up my camera and start filming and just see what happens. So that's exactly what's happening today. Today is Thursday and what we do here at CrossFit Dark Side is Thursday is normally, first off, not many people come in. A lot of people take Thursdays as a rest day. So normally Thursdays is some sort of like interval training and it's usually, there's no like barbell most of the time. It's usually pretty lightweight or body weight movements. So that's exactly what's happening today. Hi. How'd you know what I was you, here? What you drinking? Bang. How is it? This flavor is actually pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Star Blast. Sounds like a 12 year old name, this flavor. <laughs> Star Blast. It reminds me of like the blue slushies from Ooh. 7 Eleven. It's very sweet. But doesn't it taste like it's, the, good. it's like a blue icy? With bubbles. <laughs> Before we get into today's workout, I have a very exciting announcement. I hit 405 on a deadlift for five, but I didn't film it, so. If you guys don't want to believe me, I understand. And Amanda hit 205 for two. So we were actually using the kilo plates when we were doing the deadlift. So I thought I was hitting like 385 or 395. And then we added it all up and it ended up being 405 and I got it for five. The most I've ever done 405 was for two and that was a while ago. So I was very excited but also surprised and then that quickly turned into being upset because I didn't film it and if you don't film it, it doesn't happen, so. So I wasn't gonna film this because I didn't want to deal with all like the those aren't real pull-up comments, but whatever. So I'm working on my butterfly pull-ups. I've never been able to do them, so I've always done like the regular kipping pull-ups. Today is the first day I am working on butterfly pull-ups. Second back, it's still hollow and arched, just like your gymnastic. Make sense? This is Coach Kyle. Long legs. He's the guy that's going to be showing us how to do things. They have some truly bizarre behavior. doing them in the workout but I there is pull-ups in today's workout and I just kind of wanted to work on them and Kyle the coach was like you should actually just do those in the workout like don't worry about how how well you do just practice them during the workout do as many as you can and I think that's a really good idea so I'm gonna be trying the butterfly pull-ups in this workout I think it'll be good okay so with that being said I should probably tell you what the workout is so the workout is it's a four minute AMRAP and we're doing it five times and you have one minute of rest in between. So the buy-in every single time is you're gonna start with this 400 meter run and then you have six pull-ups. Again, I'm gonna be working on my butterfly pull-ups for that and then 12 ball slams with 25 pounds. How, how many pounds now? Still 38. 38 pounds down. Woo! I'm gonna put a picture right here. 38. Flex right now? Yeah, the flex is gonna be a picture of you right here. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> what I wanna focus on is just working on the rhythm in the workout. So if I'm not like getting my chin over the bar, so don't stress about it too much. Like you're working on a new movement, just work on the rhythm. So that's what I'm gonna do. Like if my if my chin is like two inches or an inch under the bar, like for me, I'm not too worried about it because again, I'm not gonna be counting this as an RX workout anyways. And it's more gonna be practice just doing the butterfly pull-ups. So that's what I'm thinking of this workout. It's literally just butterfly pull-up practice. That's it.
so the workout's done. I'm really glad that I was able to work on the butterfly pull-ups. Now, before, because I already, I can already guess how many comments there are about those are fake pull-ups, those aren't real pull-ups. For me, I understand I would never do these if my intention was to grow my lats, right? Or to work on actual pull-up strength, like getting strict pull-ups. This is a, in my mind at least, I don't want to speak for everybody else, but in my mind, a butterfly pull-up is its own movement. I, I honestly think that it shouldn't even have pull-up in the name, but that's what it's called, right? So a butterfly pull-up, I don't think that's a pull-up. I think it's a completely different thing, and I'm doing it just because I like to learn new skills, and it's a new skill that I've been wanting to learn, and so I'm excited about it. But I can already tell there's gonna be a ton of CrossFit haters in the comments, that's not a real pull-up, you're wasting your time, blah, blah, blah. I understand that. I understand this is not a strict pull-up. I completely get that. So I'm not trying to dispute that at all. I'm just excited to be learning a new movement. Like That's literally all this is. If you guys are upset with CrossFit or upset that that's the name of it, I did not make up the name of what butterfly pull-ups are called. That wasn't me. I'm just using the term that I know people will understand. Never gets easier. Whew. I forgot that we were doing this after the workout. So I went and I drank like a cup of water. The whole time I could just feel it like moving in my stomach. That was bad. But I got it done, that's all that matters. Okay, so we're back home now and there's something that I want to end this video on, a topic that I'm really excited to talk about. But before we get into that, there's a couple things I wanted to share with you guys because it's been a while since I filmed the video. So my friend Big Mike, when he was in town, he actually brought me, he got me the uh, the Metcons, the Matt Fraser Metcons, or what people are calling the Matcons. Uh, so I'm really stoked about these. I don't think I'm ever actually going to work out in them. They're actually like, pretty stiff uh, just because of the materials that they used, but I'm just excited to have them. And the other thing is I actually just got the Nintendo Switch, which... It's actually a lot of fun. I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey, and I also got uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat Mario Odyssey first, and then play the Zelda game. But it's been really fun. I haven't had a console of my own in years, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun playing that. <laughs> okay, so with those two things out of the way, this is the main reason, the main thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and it's is it's been like I don't want to say weighing on me, but I've just been trying to think of a way to bring it up to where it like makes sense and it doesn't come off wrong because it definitely could um, but I know you guys don't even know what I'm talking about so the thing that I'm talking about is that I actually just got an email from YouTube about like a few days ago and they let me know that I can I'm actually able to monetize this channel so my second channel obviously the one that you guys are watching this this video on right and it was a it was exciting, it was cool, it was it was really nice to, to get that email. Um, so all of the videos that you guys have seen on this channel up until now, um, there's obviously you guys have never seen an ad or anything like that, so so now that will happen. And the reason that I'm sharing this with you, it, like most people wouldn't even say anything, but it's because I want to be as transparent with you guys as possible. And like I said when I first started, restarted this channel, like the, the intention is not to make a bunch of money, like that's not why I'm making videos, but just knowing that when I'm working on these videos, because I spend hours and hours editing and I'm not I'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that. I, I genuinely enjoy it. But I spend a lot of time on the videos and I put a lot of thought into them and I really think that I make good content on this channel, right? Um, I wouldn't spend hours doing it if I didn't. And the fact that now I have a chance to However small, because it's not like I'm going to be making a lot of money, but I'll, I'll feel like I'm not just putting in a bunch of work and not getting much return, other than, you know, the comments and stuff, which have been absolutely amazing, but it's, it's cool knowing that I'll be getting a return on top of that, if that makes sense. And again, the reason that I, I was kind of like 
not scared to bring this up, but I was kind of stressed or, or kind of like, I just wanted to bring it up in the way that made sense. You know, because again, like I don't want people, I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to make videos to make a bunch of money. That's not what this channel is about. It's about sharing a passion of mine, something that I genuinely enjoy, and I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to have an outlet for this, right? For like CrossFit stuff and then, and other things other than weight loss, and having this channel means so much to me. And so I think that's why that email, knowing that I can actually start making something out of this channel and not feeling like I'm just putting a bunch of time into something that I'm not getting much out of, I always felt kind of like guilty when I would put a lot more work into this and to my other channel, right? Now I don't feel guilty and I feel like excited that I'm able to start something from the ground up again and build it up and hopefully find people that might not at all be interested in my other channel which is totally fine. Like I honestly like when I get com comments from you guys saying like you like this channel way more than, than my other channel. That makes me happy. Um, so I've been rambling for way too long, but I just, I wanted to share that with you guys and be as transparent with you guys as possible and just say that I am really excited and it just, it just motivates me more to not feel like I'm wasting my time making these videos. But yeah, I hope that makes sense. I appreciate you guys watching the video and getting through all of this ranting at the end. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Beep, beep, beep.